Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to cover each and every types of correlation in detail. So first, we will start with positive correlation. The correlation is called positive correlation if the calculation of coefficient of correlation is positive. Coefficient of correlation is nothing but the value of small r. If the value of small r is positive, then we can say the correlation is positive correlation. And always remember that if the correlations are positive, then here we will find both the variable that is x and y will going to change in same direction. That we can understand with the help of this graph. If we want to see this graph, then here we will find here the many samples are there and all the samples are plot over the graph. And here the, all the samples follow the same nature. Like in this particular samples, here the value of x is low and the value of y is also low. But in this particular case, here the value of x is little bit higher the same case also there with the y also, right? In the remaining case also happen with the other samples. So in general case here we can say for every samples, here if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will also going to increase. Hence we can say here both the variable that is x and y changes in same direction. If I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will also going to increase. So this is one of the example of positive correlation. Now I'll say, Another example of positive correlation. So this is also positive correlation and this is also positive correlation. Now I'll see the difference over here. In this particular case here we can see for this samples here the value of x is low and the value of y is also low. And in this samples here the value of x is little bit higher and the value of y is also little bit higher. But for this sample if you are going to see over here here the value of x for this sample exists between these two values right. But for this sample if I am going to see the value of y here the value of y will be more than the value of y of this sample and this sample, right? So this is not a general scenario for that particular samples over here. And this same case we may find for another few samples also. But in totality or in general we can say in this particular samples also as soon as if I am going to increase the value of x, the value of y will also going to increase. Or here both the variable changes in the same direction. So we can say this is also another example of positive correlation, right? And if I look going to compare this graph and this graph, so in general we can say in this particular case for 100% samples, if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will going to increase proportionally, right? But in this particular case, if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y is also increases, but it is not exist in every cases, right? Like this one was the exceptional case, right? So we can say here the degree of correlation is little bit low as compared to this one. Now I'll say another example of positive correlation, this one, right? In this case also, as soon as if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will also going to increase, right? So here the here also, the both the variables are changes in same direction. But if I'm going to see, see the difference between this graph and this graph, then here we'll find in this particular case, if you see the nature of the data sample, here the samples are closely related or the distance between the samples are less, right? But in this particular case, you will see the nature of the samples. Here the samples are spread over the graph and the distance between the samples are little bit higher. Or mathematically here we can say the degree of correlation in this particular case is less than as compared to this case. In this case, the degree of correlation is less than as compared to this case, right? Or mathematically here, here we can write, if I'm going to estimate the value of small r over here, so here we'll find the value of r will be plus or one. And in this particular case, the value of r will be not plus or 1, but it will be near about plus or 1. It may be 0 0.8 or 0 0.85 or something. But here we, in the objective sense, here we can say it is a high degree of correlation. And in this particular case, here we'll get a positive value, but the, but the value may be like a 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 or something like. Or in other way, here we can say this is a low degree of correlation. So this is all about the positive correlation. Now I'll see second type of correlation, there is a negative correlation. The correlation is said to be negative if the calculation of small r give the minus value. And small r is also called coefficient of correlation. If the calculation of coefficient of correlation give minus value, then we can say such kind of correlation is negative correlation, right? And always remember that if the relation are negative correlation, then both the variable will going to change in opposite direction. That we can understand with the help of this graph. If I'm going to see the nature of this graph, here we'll find here all the samples are plot over the graph, right? 
and if I'll go to nature of the samples over here, then we'll find as soon as if I'll go to increase the value of x, here the value of y will go to decrease. As soon as if I'll go to increase the value of x, the value of y will go to decrease over here. So here both the variable changes in opposite direction. So here we can say this is one of the example of negative correlation. I hope you understood this thing, right? Now I'll see second example of negative correlation. So in this particular case, here we can see as soon as if I'll go to increase the value of x, the value of y will go to decrease. But this may not happen with every samples over here, right? Some of the exceptional samples may be there. And if I'll go to see the difference over here between this negative correlation and between this negative correlation, then here we'll find for in this particular case, for the 100% sample, if I'll go to increase the value of x, the value of y will go to decrease. But in this particular case, some of the exceptional sample will be there, right? So that's why here we can say this graph has the low degree of negative correlation as compared to this one. Now I'll see the last example of negative correlation, right? This is also another example of negative correlation. And uh, here also, as soon as if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will go to decrease over here. But if I'm going to compare this one and this one, then here we'll find here all the samples are closely related. But here the samples are spread over the graph. So it has a very low degree of negative correlation as compared to this one and this one. And mathematically here we can write in this particular case for 100% samples, here we'll find the same case. As soon as if I'm going to increase the value of x, the value of y will go to decrease over here. So here we will get the value of small r equal to minus 1. And in this particular case, here we will get the value of small r. But that kind of correlation is called high degree of negative correlation. And this is called low degree of negative correlation, right? But in all three cases, here we will get the negative value. Now we are going to see last type of correlation. That is zero correlation. In zero co correlation, if we are going to estimate the value of small r, here we will get the value zero. And small r is nothing but coefficient of correlation and if you're going to see the nature of the samples over here on the graph then here you will find here all the sample will be spread over the graph in the random fashion and then no correlation will be exist between the samples over here right so this is the example of zero correlation so in this lecture here we have covered all types of correlation positive negative and zero correlation and from the coming lecture we're going to start with the computation procedure thank you